and we're back it's february 2nd run streak day 122. it's very windy today which i wasn't expecting it's like 30 degrees fahrenheit outside right now it's actually pretty warm and pleasant we got the sun but the wind it's not a cold wind it's more of an annoying wind because it's making it to where i can't film anything basically but to be honest i wouldn't mind not filming too much while i'm out running i feel like i need a day off in that regard but i'll film a little bit because i have a couple things i want to talk about all right so the first thing i want to talk about was something that i touched on briefly in yesterday's video during the uh, grocery haul section of the video Whew, i'm running on ice right here it's a little slick but uh yeah anyway i want to talk about our first instant cart experience now let me set this up for you here we're out yesterday busy afternoon we uh, went to several stores ourselves and we happened to have an instant cart gift card so we decided you know what we don't want to stop by aldi ourselves we'll let them do it for us and we'll meet them at home and get our groceries delivered to us as that's what i understood that this service was for so we place our order it's only 14 items it was a small order at uh, aldi and the address that we provided was correct we double checked that triple checked that everything was fine in the special instruction section we put our apartment complex name um, and then where our loading zone was located the street that the loading zone was on and we also put please message us when you arrive and we'll come down and meet you because you need a key to get into the gate to our apartment complex so basically we laid it out for them as clearly and easily as possible to make it as smooth as we could possibly make it for everybody involved so what happened so the person who's doing the delivery they did not gps our location they said they did in the message thing when we found out that they delivered them to the wrong place but i guarantee they were lying about gpsing our address if you gps our address it takes you right to our building the problem is it was one of those people who thinks they know everything thinks they know what streets are what and where to go because they've been doing this i think it said that they've been doing this for four years or whatever right so basically they thought oh locust and third okay well i know where that is except for they didn't go to locust and third they went to east locust and third totally different section of town across the river i'm talking like multiple blocks away like maybe not a mile but like half a mile away from our apartment complex in a hotel nonetheless and again we gave the name of our apartment complex and yet they still went to a i forget the name of the hotel like something something hotel silver pine hotel or whatever anyway the name of the hotel is irrelevant now we went after arguing with the driver via chat and them saying well it's too bad i already dropped it off um, i'm on to my next delivery we decided okay well uh, we still want our groceries so i guess we'll drive over there and get it ourselves so we did and we talked to the hotel guy front desk guy and he said that the lady that came in was extremely rude pretty much just dropped the groceries on the floor and left which uh, was clearly not our instruction to leave our groceries at the front door of a hotel it was to message us when you get to the apartment building so after we got our groceries picked up and drove them back home once we got home i decided to file a complaint file an issue against that driver i don't want that driver to be a highly rated driver when they're basically half-assing it like that so i file a complaint stating you know we provided detailed instructions yada 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 and more or less she just ignored it did whatever she wanted dropped it off wherever she wanted and uh yeah so instacart customer service or whatever responded back to us and they basically said that you know you can leave detailed instructions in your order to help the drivers which we did so we replied with we did that we don't want so they were offering us a five dollar credit we said we don't want your credit we're not using your service anymore more or less what we just want is an apology take ownership for your mistake and they wouldn't 
they responded again with you can leave detailed instructions in your order so these are like automated responses more than likely right so yeah we never really resolved anything i'm sure that driver is still out there dropping people's groceries off wherever she wants <laughs> and needless to say yeah don't use instant cart they're terrible stay away from them use doordash i've used them before never had any problems with doordash they never dropped my groceries off at a uh, hotel they found my place no problem all right well i'm actually almost done with my run here I had the first fall of the uh winter season right over there i'm coming in here slow because i'm actually slowing down to walk in here and just the ice and just fell luckily the camera didn't get damaged <laughs> either way and i'm fine but uh but yeah anyway so I wanted to stop in here because there's no wind, luckily, or very little wind in here, and I still need to talk about Yippee Ki Yay, Mother Ooh, Last night's Bruce Willis movie. And this is the last one, of course, because we're gonna be switching it up for the rest of the month of February. But last night's Bruce Willis movie was a 2009 movie called Surrogates, and it had Bruce Willis and Ving Rames, and actually quite a few other people, but I can't really remember everybody at the moment. Now, the premise of the movie it's interesting so it's like a future setting and basically people live virtually through these like robot surrogates the robots go out and you know wander around in the in the world and and stuff like that and people just kind of sit at their apartment with their vr glasses on and live through their robot or whatever i don't know it's pretty weird to be honest um i don't think i would like to do that i'd rather be out in the real world myself that being said these surrogates are like you know super powered they can run and jump fast they don't take you know damage they don't feel pain yada 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 so people basically live with no risk in that regard they can go out and do whatever they want get hit by cars jump off of buildings whatever so anyway there's a group of people who are just straight up humans and they don't like the surrogates and they're trying to take them down and they invent this weapon that actually destroys the surrogate robot and somehow the virus that infects the robot gets through the system and also kills the human host or whatever. So Bruce Willis has to find out how to stop it more or less. And uh, ultimately it ends up being the person who, and his name was James Cromwell, is the actor who played this guy, it was the person who created surrogates, then starts to hate the surrogates and wants to destroy them and sort of like reset everything back to normal or whatever. Now, I won't spoil it too much. I won't let you know what happens in the end, but I will say it's a very good movie, well worth watching, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it 4.3 out of five stars for surrogates. Check it out if you get a chance. We watched it on Hulu for free. All right, made it back. Man, it's windy out there. Okay, anyway, run today was just a titch or a smidgen, as they say, over seven miles. Pace today, eight minutes, 45 seconds or so, roughly around that. Time was about one hour. I think it was like one hour and one minute or something like that as well. So good run, uh, a lot of fun, even though it was really windy. I still went up and explored some uh, areas that I haven't actually ran up through. I went up grand up the hill and normally I don't go that route because it's a very busy road, not good for uh, filming videos and stuff like that. So basically, I did half of my run with no filming basically whatsoever and then on the way back on the slower not so busy areas that's where I did my uh, uh, video and stuff like that so either way I'm home I'm gonna go take a shower warm up eat some breakfast drink some tea get ready for my day we'll see you guys later